Today on Coach a la Carte. We're going to turn it from Coach a la Carte to Coach a la Catch. Today I'm going on an adventure with Captain Rob Roach from Kettle Bottom Charters. Fish on, baby! Oh yeah. What's better than football and tatag in the fall? Not much. So now with a full bag of fresh fillets. Look at that bad boy. We're off to the Coast Guard house for dinner. This is like my favorite place in America. Look at this. All right, we digging in on this stuff right. or what? This is what best friends do, Coach. This is what we do. That's all today on Coach a la Carte. That's me, Jim Fleming, head coach of URI football. Football is being pushed back for obvious reasons. Since I've got some time on my hands, I've decided to hit the road to see what fall in Rhode Island is really like. Because for me, the only thing that comes close to football is enjoying some great food with great friends. So join me as I visit some of the best restaurants in Rhode Island on Coach a la Carte. What's up, Rob? How you doing, man? Good. Jim Fleming. Yeah, big fan. How are you? Rob Roach. Nice I'm good to, to see you. you, man. How's everything? Going good. Going good. The weather isn't perfect, but the fish are still chewing, I'm sure. sure. Who cares about the weather? That's right. You're a football coach. Rain or shine, right? Just show yeah. up to the dock and they say, can you fish on Monday? And I said, hell yeah. Yeah. You know, because I'm... You already have practice today? Yeah. How's it going so far? It's good. I mean, we haven't really banged yet. You know, yeah. we're still in all these protocols and trying to itch it, you know, kind of inch away. Yeah. We've been you know, knock on wood, it's, you know, successful with the COVID testing. What we're normally doing during football season is tatag fishing. Yep. So we're going to go after uh, blackfish or tatag here, and they've been chewing pretty good lately. And we're going to sit over the top of them. We're going to use crabs, and uh, hopefully we'll get a couple good ones. Dude, you already been out? Yep, yep. We just got back from a trip late last night. We had some tuna. So we got backup if we don't catch today. Where'd you go? We were at West Atlantis Canyon all weekend long. How far is that? about 100 miles south. We left on Saturday morning, just got back late last night. So we got some tuna for you to bring to the Coast Guard. You're an animal. If we don't uh, if we don't get anything today. So what's your gig, man? I heard all kinds of great stories about you. Well, Kettle Bottom is, is, is actually three companies. Kettle Bottom Creative, the guys that are, are filming us here today. Uh, we also run a fish and charter business. So we do some charters and commercial fishing uh, during the season. And then finally, we have a logistics company that falls under that too, which makes money to support all the other things we like to do to have fun. So get to do fun things like go out fishing with the URI football team. <laughs> <laughs> On a Monday afternoon. Yeah, in the fall. <laughs> in the fall, yeah, so. Sweet, look forward yeah. to it. I appreciate yeah. you doing it. Man. Problem at all, get me out of the office here a little bit. Well, it doesn't sound like you spend too much time in the office. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Oh, I... You gotta, like I said, you gotta work to pay for all this. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I've always been one of my singular goals in life to put these on. I've never bought a pair. Only badasses get them. Now, how the hell do you get into them? The Grunin's label's in the front. Actually, I should put my mask on here. I don't want to get the coach sick if I happen to be coroned. I'm not coroned, but. Uh, take that uh, rubber band there and put it over the front. This is making me look like a pro now, bro. Right on. We're going to turn it from Coach a la Carte to Coach a la Catch. All right? <laughs> Let's go get some fish. That's the idea. Let's go get some fish. Let's go do that. It's hard to get me off this island. I just, you know. Hell, if my wife doesn't have to get off the island, she's not. Yep, I'm in the same way. It's a good spot. Welcome. Yeah. Now this dock didn't exist, but those docks over there, my whole goal in life was seriously to spend time on these docks, you know? And look who's living it, bro. As much as I could. So you guys then started doing the fishing shows? Yeah, we started with fishing shows and then we did some extreme sports TV. Anything that gets people outdoors and puts a smile on their face, that's what we like. Specialize in smiles. This is a treat, bro. I'm telling you, this is really cool. Yeah, Coach and Roach. What is this, 25? 23. 23. That's Bull Rock here, Bull Weatherall. Been loaded in here with Bull Salvatore. 
Are these guys catching from the, there? I mean, they're there all the time. Yeah, squid, tatog, other ground fish. So is this Kettle Bottom? This is Kettle Bottom. This is, okay. When we were coming up with a name for the company, my father and I were talking about, shoot, what, 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 what should we name the company? And he goes, well, what's your fond memories? Where, where was your first adventure? And my first adventure was with a little 18-foot dory with a 40-horsepower Evendrude and come out here in the ocean and fish these rocks. So I figured, shoot, might as well take the name of my favorite fishing spot and my first adventures. And that's why we named the company Kettle Bottom. All this structure in this here sound and cove here is all great fishing here. So, but we're not going to fish here today. We're going to keep going. I'm going to show you horse head. See if I can show you the, the horse and why they call it horse head. Picture that rock is like a square. Yes. See the left side of the square? You see the nose start point now? I'm talking right here. Yeah. So right behind it here on the left side is the horse's head. I see it. Yes, I see it. That's the horse head. No, that's pretty cool. And there she is, Mr. Ed. <laughs> anyway, let's go fishing before the tide drops out. It's the biggest fish you ever got. Giant tuna. Giant? 880 pound giant tuna. Where'd you catch that? Uh, mud hole, right here in Rhode Island back in the day. We'll come in here if it's too rough, but I want to get to that second can. It's a little rough, but I know that there's good fish here, so. So what's the setup? What do you what's in there? That's a chum pot. Let's get it down to the bottom, shake it up a little bit. We're gonna send it down and get the get the buffet started. So how do you hook these things? Alright, that's the next step is to show you how to do that. Pick yourself a nice one there. So I like to get rid of the claws first. So they don't bite me. That's the main reason. Then I'm just gonna peel the top shell off, expose the good stuff, then you're gonna take the hook. Put it through that. Then you got this shell right here on the back. You want to come right back out that so it'll hold it on there. Just like that. Got it. You're going to feel them. You're going to feel them. Boom, 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 boom. You got to set that hook. Send it home. Send it home. As soon as they bump. As soon as they bump, you send it home. And it might take two, three times to hook them. Tog and football. I love it. Tell you what, though, when I think of football, this is the first kind of fishing I think of. To talk? Yeah. We're always listening to the games on the radio while we're out talking, you know. Is that right? Right into the leg, into the leg socket? Right into the leg socket and out the back shell there. Come on, man. You're late on the draw. You got to become a master baiter. <laughs> you think you can do that? I've got 61 years of experience. All right. There it is. Fish on, baby. Yeah. Fish on. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, you picked it clean. All right, two nothing. No, no. Yeah, you're getting bit up though. Now he's three to nothing. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can steal Coach's fish. There it is. Sweet. Stole your, stole your fish, Coach. That's all right. But, oh, look at it. Nice. That's what we're going for. We just need them to be 16 inches or bigger. Damn it, I missed it again. It's a jerk, right? It's not yep, a big yep. long bubble, pole. Bubble, bubble. There, there go. we go. Fish on, baby, fish on. All right. Good job, coach. You got yourself a too tall. All right, coach, we got to get a big one. Yeah, I'm ready. Send him home and just get a little bit bigger one. And we'll put them on a dinner plate. Fish on! A little better fish. Feels about the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. We'll measure this guy. He's looking close. We're getting closer every time. Every fish is bigger. He looks like a keeper to me. All right, coach. You got the first keeper of the day. These things eat primarily lobster and crab, so they taste real good. Right on. Get back to work, coach. Come on. Working it. Oh, Jesus. Holy oh. That's a big fish, That's man. Big... <laughs> Not even that big. <laughs> that was some action. Oh, that was unexpected. The cat was out there and got poles going sideways. There you go, coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Calico. Calico tog. That's a keeper. That's a oh, look fish. at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. There's a fish, man. 
Nice one. Hey, coach. Yes, sir. Your turn. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Double All up, right. Double up. Double up. Nice fish there, coach. All right. Now we're talking. Yeah, buddy. It's a good one. Yeah. I can't even see how I got that in there. That's what she said. <laughs> there it is. Down and dirty. Whoa. Hell yeah, coach. I wasn't kidding when I said master baiter. You got the skills, coach. Good one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's better than football and tog in the fall? Not much. Not much. Not much. I guess we better keep getting this tog tog because I ain't getting enough football. Wow, what a day. I mean, are you kidding me? We got the coach some fish. Yeah, we did. That was outstanding. Good time, coach. Thank you, bro. Hell of a fisherman you are. You're not just a great coach, you're a good fisherman, too. Yeah, well, like mine. You said you never talk fish before? No. Well, you did mighty fine, I tell you. Well, man. I appreciate you did all right. It. All right, well, let's pull the anchor and we'll take a little cruise. Right on. And get, in, get into the dock. All right, everybody good? Holding on? Yep. Rhode Island, man. Really can't beat it. Unbelievable place, man. Fishing with Rob was a blast. With a full limit of Tatog, Captain Rob gave me a tour of Newport's coastline. That's pretty cool. It isn't often you get to see Newport from this angle. Stone! Stone, how's it going? Good to see you. Bro. With Rob Roach and, and the boys from Kettle Bottom, we ended up catching a lot of good fish, and now we're going to take it. It's in the trunk, and we're riding it over to Coast Guard House, see if we can get it cooked up. So another tough day at the office for us here, man. So fired up. You guys ready to go? I'm ready to roll. All right, Let's good enough. It. Let's go. Look, we got flam. We got to do this. Stone, stone, what stone? You went to the back seat, bro. Everybody knows that flan is the flanchise. Don't you know that there? Flanchise. There we go. Now we're talking, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the flanchise stats right here. Now all state, uh, you know, first team as a senior, all division, everything, you know, junior, senior year. I think it was 1,400 rushing yards, 22 touchdowns, but who remembers, wow. you know? Made it to the state championship three out of three out of four years. You know, Flan came up to us when? Right after your season at Hendrickson? Yeah, right after the season at Hendrickson. Because you know, he has now received the promotion to assistant head coach or its associate. I don't know, whichever one it is, it's the one that's not allowed to go ahead and try to force me out. So. <laughs> Been a lot of different roles, but all good ones. Excited to see, you know, this next piece the next year and everything. It, 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 the, the recruiting thing, I mean, yeah, as you know, it's it, it, you got a good product to sell, and we got one here for sure. You know, the state, the school, football program, facilities getting better, a lot of good things on the horizon. People that like to have the argument about where the best players are, California, Texas, Florida, you know, and Rhode Island. That's it. Because it's like where the franchise came from. <laughs> But <laughs> we're budgetarily challenged at times, so we've had really incredible dinners when we have gone to the Coast Guard House, which has usually been, you know, one-offs. You know, our recruiting weekend sometimes become major league logistical deals where we've got 12 to 15 kids, two parents for each kid, all the coaches, so you're not talking about just a nice easy dinner but when we've been able to bring in individual kids particularly you know not in the normal cycle transfers late pickups junior college guys we've been able to bring them out to the coast guard house which has always been phenomenal we've been able to come down here and show off the the beaches and all that a heck of a lot better and be able to check out and see those crazy people surfing in their wetsuits the middle of january the middle of january I've been on a surfboard for about, standing up for about three quarters of a second. That's about as far as I've gotten. <laughs> but fell gracefully. Yeah, I don't think I could even get up. Sweet. Yes, we are. Here we are at the Coast Guard House, boys. So we got fish. We're at the Coast Guard House. 
and they're going to fix it for us. You want to go up and see Bob? Ready to go, yeah. All right, let's do, let's do it. it. All right. Here we are at the Coast Guard house, boys. Freshly caught. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. You should have seen those things fight, too. I mean, and, 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 and Rob went up and put us right on the spot and killed it. Killed it. So we got fish. Yeah. We're at the Coast Guard house. Yeah. And they're going to fix it for us. You want to go up and see Bob? I'm ready to go, yeah. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right. This is like my favorite place in America. Look at this. That's awesome. Wow. Hey! What's up, Coach? Coach, I hear you have some fish for us. Went out with Rob Roach, black fishing. Figured to bring it over to the experts to go ahead and cook up and say, you're the one, dude, so tag, you're it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I'll have the chefs make something with it, and I'll be back right. in a few minutes. Appreciate you having us. Anytime. This is what best friends do. <laughs> I blushed a little bit last yeah. night when I found out I was best new best friends with Stone. Yeah. I didn't know I had a best friend. <laughs> yeah, Bob, we get to sit here and hold hands, brother. So what's been going on? It's been a great fall, nice summer. Hectic, but nice. We're playing by the rules, so it's been good, and customers have noticed. The, the safeness and, and how you operate. Safe, cleanliness, all that. Follow the rules or you get shut down, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or called out, and nobody wants that. First time I came to Rhode Island and came up on this porch and died and gone to heaven, you know, because it really can't find a better place on the East Coast. I guess you better your best because everything has been such high quality, now you're expanding. We need some additional dining space. It was the first deck built on the building and it, it was tired, it needed to be changed. So we said if we're gonna go make the changes, maybe we go for year-round space. All right, we'll finish the story. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yep. Thank you, ladies. Wow. We, go. we can't give the coach steak, he caught the fish. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but somebody's gonna share that fish. <laughs> So what, how, how, how did you prepare, how did they prepare this? The tog franchise with broccolini, roasted baby potatoes. That is looking like it's, it's, it's waiting to be attacked, but we'll, <laughs> we'll wait for instructions. So finish up on this thing. So you guys went and, and went all in on this. So we went all in. We decided to uh, see if we can get it approved for year-round space. We'll use it both for regular dining and for small parties and things like that. We were talking on the way over about recruiting and you know your, your, your involvement with URI Athletics has been outstanding. You and Joe have been really good to us, Joe Formicola. And, but every time we brought someone over here, you know what we've done? Signed them. So it's always been appreciated. Thank you. It's a good batting average to have when, <laughs> and, and we're happy to help. Yeah, now we've got to increase our batting average, man. We'll go ahead and find a way to get some W's. This is kind of the closing deal, right? If you can get a recruit here. Yeah, I mean, this is about as good as it gets. That's why I'm curious with the new addition, how many people that might be able to fit so we can kind of get a larger number of some of our recruits up here. But can't beat the view and can't beat the food at, at this place. So that's the key to recruiting. If you feel like rock star, you got a chance to get them. All right, we digging in on this stuff sure. or what? This is what right. best friends do, Coach. This is what we do, you know, as long as we're not sipping wine out of the same glass, we're good to go. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. How is it? Unbelievable. Excellent. This is a treat. Well, thank you. Yeah, this is excellent. Definitely seafood's the draw with that view behind us and that water behind us, that is definitely the draw. Flynn, I'm sure that you and your family have been down here before, right? Yeah, I grew up in Warwick, so be able to get down here and, and see this part of the state, always a treat. That's nice, yeah, the summertime brings people from all over the state. and. So what's going on with URI football? You know, we got them back to school. We've tested them. We've been, knock on wood, always, you know, successful with the managing of the COVID. We've just gotten the green light to go ahead towards calling it fall ball, but normally what we do in the spring. So we got a chance to, you know, go play a bunch of football in the spring and then turn right back around and play the full season in 2021. So let's make sure that's the year. You know, 2021, win two championships. That would make things pretty good, man. <laughs> That'd be great. But it'll be a completely new experience for everybody. Starting off cold and playing into the warm days, hopefully. As always, can't tell you how much we appreciate your partnership. Thank you very much. We, we appreciate the relationship, too. It's, uh, we look forward to it every year, and uh, we're happy to, uh, happy to help. It's a staple for roadie football. 
And this this is like incredible fish. I know it was fresh, but it was cooked unbelievably. It was, it was amazing. I don't usually fish at all, but you're digging it. Yeah. Right on. Right on, best friend. It's all about the hospitality. Are you taking reservations for graduation like 2029? I can't even know where it goes. I, I, I bet you. It's... We're being optimistic and taking reservations for 2021 right now. <laughs> <laughs> right on. From that point out there to here, pretty good couple days, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. The only thing better than the view was the food. It was incredible. From that point out there to here, pretty good couple days, I'd say. What we're normally doing during football season is tatog fishing. Yep. So we're gonna go after uh, blackfish or tatog and uh, hopefully we'll get a couple good ones. Captain Rob Broach of Kettle Bottom Outfitters took me on a fishing adventure around the island of Jamestown in Narragansett Bay. Fish on, baby! There we go. Oh yeah. These things eat primarily lobster and crab, so they taste real good. Right on. Get back to work, coach. Come on. I'm working it. Oh, yeah. Double up, double up, double up. Nice fish there, coach. All right, now we're talking. I guess we better keep getting the tug tug because I ain't getting enough football. What's better than football and tug in the fall? Not much. Not much. Not much. With a bag of fresh blackfish fillets, I took some friends to the Coast Guard house for dinner. Look at that bad boy. Heading up to the incredible rooftop deck. This is like my favorite place in America. Look at this. We met my friend and URI athletic supporter, Bob Leonard. What's up, coach? Figured to bring it over to the experts to go ahead and cook up, so tag, you're it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I'll have the chefs make something with it. Good man. I appreciate you having us. Anytime. Putting the fish in good hands, Bob and I were able to visit and get the lowdown on URI football. But every time we brought someone over here, you know what we've done? Signed them. Good batting average to have, and, <laughs> and, and we're happy to help. This is about as good as it gets. That's why I'm curious with the new addition, how many people that might be able to fit so we can kind of get a larger number of some of our recruits up here. All right, we digging in on this stuff or what? This is a treat. That might have been the best thing I've ever eaten. This is what right. best friends do, Coach. This is we what have. we do. 